Hello YouTube and welcome back to another 3D Ross tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make bottles using the curve tool in Autodesk Maya. So first off, you want to collect some reference images, like a coke bottle or something like that. Today I'm going to show you how to model a wine bottle to start off with. So create a plane, go to create, polygon, plane. If it's too small, Hit the R key and scale it up. And my wine bottle is a portrait image, so I'm just going to scale it more appropriately. Now you want to hold right click and go to favorite material, Lambert, and click this square icon here. Go to file, click on the folder. Find your reference image, mine saved on the desktop, wine bottle, there we are. And now the material is applied, so to show the material, just click this icon here. Right, now we have the wine bottle, I'm just going to scale it more appropriately. And we want to go in a different view, so we want a, a exactly top down view. So to do that, you press space bar, and it'll bring up this view. Or you can click this here. And once you've got this multi view, click spacebar on the top left where it says top. And now you want to zoom out using the scroll wheel. And click here to show the texture. Now, what you want to do is you're just going to zoom in the top. And I go to make the grid so it lines up roughly in the center because we're only going to make half of the wine bottle and then duplicate it around. So you want to go to Create, Curve Tool, and you can use any tool you want. I'd suggest the CV Curve Tool if you're not used to using the other Curve Tools. And you use the Bezier Curve Tool for better results, but it's a bit tricky to get the hang of. I'll show you the CV Curve Tool first. So. I'm going to set grid snapping on just this way so I could get exactly half. So just gonna go around, click round the rough shape of the bottle. So you just do I'm just gonna do this really quickly. You don't need to be really precise. Just get a basic shape down. Things like bottles and stuff, it's first not your main focus, it's just going to be a small piece in an, in an environment, so it's not hugely important. But just try and get it as good as you want. And then once you have halfway, once you've got it halfway, hit enter. And now you have this line. So I'm just going to click space bar. And space bar again to the corner to go back to perspective. Now what you want to do is you want to go to up to the top to surfaces and revolve but click the square icon to modify it. So we want to do our so I'm gonna reset my setting so you'd see so we're gonna to go to the Z axis to revolve round object cubic and we want it 360 degrees because we're rotating all the way around. I'm just going to leave it at 8 segments. We're going to change it to polygons. And instead of triangles, we're going to go quads. So then just hit revolve. And your bottle will re revolve around just like this. And then if you want to uh, manipulate any points, just manipulate like any other mesh like move the vertices down and things like that you just change so that's how you do the bottle so I'll show you again a different way however if you do want to move the bottle you might get some deformation see if I can find an example like this so to get rid of that you want to just click your bottle uh, Go to Edit, Delete by Type, History. And this just deletes the curve history, so now you should be able to move it freely. Like that. 
and it's also appropriate uh, that export into a game engine. So I'm going to delete all this and create another plane, extrude it out and now I'm going to show you how to make a vase or a vase depending on how you say it. So same again, right click, assign favourite material, lamp it. Uh, hit this checkered box, go to file, hit the file icon and vase. Open it up. So here's our vase. So same again, spacebar to go to the top view, top view. And then this time I'm going to use the Bezier Curve tool. So just go halfway and then click your next point but hold click to curve round. And then you could hold click and curve round again just to move your points. Hold click curve round. Go just this point so we'll get some run up to this corner. There we go. See what I mean how you get strange results sometimes so it takes a bit of uh, fiddling around but if you get this line straight it'll generally go straight for you. Just gonna curve this edge here. Click in the center again, so we'll get a, so we'll get half of the mesh again. Right, you want a line. Try and line this line up so it's going flowing flush the way you want it ahead. Right now we've got half. Hit enter. Spacebar again. Spacebar in with your mouse over the top right. Go back to perspective, go to surfaces, revolve, and then we'll just click revolve again because I remember the parameters we had before. And now we have this. So here's our vase. So as you can see, there is some strange geometry, like here you've got end gods, so there's more than four vertices on this face. And this can be simply fixed by just using the multi cut tool. Multi cut tool, just hit the first one and match it up and then hit enter again. And that's how you would do that. And obviously, you can use this same revolve tool and use the curves to create, say, a Coke bottle and anything else that will revolve around into a circle. So again, you just create the curves on half of it, and then it'll revolve round into a 3D object. So that's how you make bottles and vases in Autodesk Maya. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit like. And if you want to uh, see more tutorials on 3D modeling, texturing, UV mapping, and some game engine work, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.